We need to try to make sure we're collecting as much oxide as possible. I believe I'm going to start getting cold. What was that? That's a freaking bear. Maybe if I jump off this and swim away. Ah! What's going on, guys? Welcome to the number one most anticipated survival game of 2021. Icarus Survival. I cannot wait to hop into this game. It looks absolutely stunning, wonderful, beautiful, and I hope it lives up to absolutely everything that I wish it lives up to. And so far, just dropping in on this drop ship, it looks amazing. We're looking out the window. Maybe we see like a cusping mountain coming in right there. This is so beautiful. Oh, we hit the we hit the ground. Oh my god. Oh. Wow just wow oh my god i didn't expect it to be this beautiful holy sh I, I i'm speechless this is just i feel like i'm in it if you guys don't know what icarus is you clearly just saw me hit the land in a drop pod i came from a ship somewhere somewhere up there and we landed down here and now we're here to survive, craft, and build, and just kind of collect as many supplies as possible. And then we're going to head back up to the mothership and craft even more advanced stuff. But as of right now, we literally have absolutely nothing, and we need to gather and craft as much as humanly possible. If you guys are excited for this series, it's going to be posted daily, maybe even twice a day, depending on how much content the beta weekend has. And I'll be live literally right now at the time that you're watching this video. I'm live. Twitch.tv slash partially roll if you want to come hang out live and watch me hopefully not fail too miserably at this game. So far, it looks beautiful. We uh, press tab and we have our inventory, crafting, tech tree, talents, and map, of course. This is just the only explored area. It's not procedurally generated. It is a specifically handcrafted map. So there's a lot of POIs and really cool, interesting things to explore and find as you run around the map. It's also multiplayer. We're just obviously playing single player right now, and we'll probably be playing multiplayer tomorrow on stream. Um, but this is just stunning so far. If you guys just join us, click the sub button as well as the notification icon to be notified whenever the next Icarus survival video goes live. And of course, we're going to be doing a giveaway since this game is huge and it is a part one. So just all you have to do is leave a comment down below. I see a deer right there. And you'll be entered into the giveaway. Look how beautiful that deer is. He's about to go for a drink. Can I kill him? Well, we can make a pickaxe. We can make a hatchet. And of course, if you want to see the unedited versions of these episodes, click that join button down below. $2 or more per month gets you that. Two, three times longer episodes. Um, a lot of you guys are doing that now. About, I think there was like 700 people that are doing that right now. And then even more some. And look, I can definitely catch this guy drinking. Um, tech tree. Can I get a pickaxe? I need to level up first. Looks like I need to... Oh, I'm level zero. I just saw that up here. Okay. So I need to, like, craft and, like, grab a few more things. Our XP bar is unfortunately blocked by the camera, but that's not a huge deal. We just hit level two. So now we can do the spear. Stone knife to cut up animals. And basic bandage is probably the route we want to go. Campfire and bedroll for sure, but if we start getting attacked... Or we need to cut up an animal. We're going to need the bandage and the stone knife. All right, but we do have a spear. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a spear. I have not played this game yet. I know like a lot of YouTubers got some early access to it. Obviously, uh, the beta just came out for developers and gamers alike. All you have to do is purchase the game on Steam and a separate download for the Icarus beta will pop up. So if that's what you're wondering and why you're here, now you have your information. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. All right, let's sock this deer. The stealth looks similar to uh, Skyrim. Yep, see the eyeball lit up? So something saw us, but it's not necessarily the deer we're socking. I also saw in the development videos that rocks break down piece by piece. There we go, hit it right in the leg. Oh, that took it out. Ooh, just like that. See you later, Bambi. I can carry them. Oh, I saw this in the live streams. Look at this. I can carry a whole deer. Also, if you bob your head, look. You see his little head popping up? <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so we got to bring this out in the opening. I believe this is going to attract wolves. 
So we need to be super duper careful. Let's go ahead and make our stone knife, which is used to cut up animals. Press the five key. Let's cut him up. Maybe it's a right click. Nope, that threw the knife. All right, well, now we got to move the damn deer out of the way. There we go. And that was popping up. See, if we this pops up green. If we pull it a bandage, it pops up red. So this is the proper tool. Oh, hold F to skin. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, leather, fur, bones, raw meat. Oh, and then the meat is literally off of it. Oh, that's going to attract some animals. That's going to attract some animals. Okay, let's find somewhere else to build our base camp. Now that we got that right there, we do not want to build near it. This is pretty right here. We could build on there, but I don't know if we'd be able to build a bridge to it. So I don't want to do that yet. I'm kind of thinking for sake of... Sake of the gameplay, I'd like to build somewhere real pretty. And there's fish right here, so... I'm here. I'm here for it. There's a water. Okay. Yeah, right here. We're going to build right here on this little patch of dirt. If it allows us to build, right? I think we need to level up first. Talent tree. Resources, exploration, hunting, construction, combat, and solo. Health, runner, movement. We're going to do health to start. Definitely. Do I see something... Okay, that's just a part of the waterfall. It looks like uh like the the uh, like the ghost walls like that are currently being crafted in like the forest or something. I was curious. I was like, "Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm playing single player." Um, but now I believe we need to murder as many animals as humanly possible. So let's make a few extra spears here. Cuz we're going to be throwing these. We're not going to be stabbing too much. And they're not easy to throw. At least it didn't feel like it. That had a ton of drop to it. Gotta be careful of wolves. I don't have a bed yet, but I need to level up. I'm currently halfway to level two. So we need to find something to kill so we can... Obviously... Level up more. I can also just pickaxe this stuff. Aluminum. I got 90 XP from mining the aluminum. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Or aluminium for any of you uh, GBers out there. This might be the safer route. Instead of wandering and hunting and getting murdered by wolves. It seems like we get like a lot of bonus XP. Specifically for the first mine of an item. So there we go. 120. Okay, we got copper. We got aluminum. What's this stuff? This will give us another set of early game XP for discovery. And then silica will do the same. Okay, we're going to hit level 2 real fast here. Definitely the best way to level. At least early game. Because there's wolves, there's bears. I'm not sure if there's anything else evil, but that's all I know about. And being alone makes it even more difficult. What's nice is when my friends do play, I can bring them into my world. So, we won't have to restart or anything. Obviously, if they want to, we can. Which is no problem. We'll regain our stealth back, or our stamina back, because... Oh, God. This guy is just accepting his fate, huh? Boop. Got him. All right. But like I said, we do not... I repeat, we do not want to skin him here. Not too close to our base, at least. I think I just heard a goat. A mountain goat, maybe? All right, let's drop him. Let's skin him real quick. I just, whoops. Sorry, just tenderizing the meat. <laughs> just just tenderizing the meat, okay? Skin the deer. Oh, this game is so satisfying already. I, I'm so happy that it's already living up to my hype. All right, and then we got a carcass there. We'll just leave the carcass and we'll head down to our uh, campsite. I do not want to attract carnivores, if that's how it works. I saw a, uh, a live stream video where a wolf ran up to a dead deer and ate it. Like, straight up. So I'm assuming that they're attracted to carcasses. And bears, wolves, whatever else carnivores are lurking about over here. More tech tree. We're going to learn campfire, bedroll. I'm going to leave the torch. Fire whacker quickly beats out fires. Wait. Can we light a fire and have it spread? 
That would be sick. Repair hammer. And then we have a small wood crate. Bone spears are higher level. Wood bow. We got to go wood bow. We have to. Or we can already craft a wood bow. Oh, wait, what about arrows? Stone arrows are going to have to be the next level because it's all in this tree. But I needed to learn bedroll and campfire. Okay, so let's craft a campfire. Let's craft a bedroll. We'll start with the bedroll so we have somewhere to respawn. And we'll put that right down here by the water so it's not in the way. Beautiful. We have somewhere to spawn. X to pick up. Okay, cool. This bed requires... Gosh. All this stuff running around keeps scaring me. This bed requires more shelter. Okay, maybe if we get more stones, that'll be considered shelter. It might need literally a roof over its head. Which, if that's the case... We're not ready for that yet, obviously. Let's get a little bit more stone and let's place down a campfire. Alright, we got ourselves a campfire going. Boop. Beautiful. Put that down here. Five key. Nice little campfire. Keeping an eye on my surroundings. Make sure we're not getting stalked right now. Okay. Beautiful. So now we need to heat it up with some wood. Which I should chop down a tree. I haven't done that yet. I know the trees physically fall over. Just like in something like the forest. And they do damage to structures. So you have to be careful knocking down your trees. Or if it lands on your roof. You're going to lose a roof. All right, wonderful. We got some wood. Let's go in here. Drag the wood here. And then I believe we can just choose. We can activate the campfire. And then we can choose to do this. Maybe if we... There we go. Oh, you can... That's so cool. I can see the camp... Oh, you can see the meat. It's on a stick over the campfire. That is so cool. And then we have this meter going up for when the food's ready. And I need water. There is water in here. We need ice and a vessel. Nine oxygen when consumed. So we have oxygen as well. That's concerning. Consume stack. So we have to actually go around and mine oxide to hold on to our oxygen. That's going to be some hardcore survival, man. We're going to take the meat. Put another piece. The, another piece is going. Cool. We're going to consume that. Oh, that got rid of all of our food. Can I just drink straight out of the the pond? Yes, but it decreased my temperature. Which now I see there's temperature in the bottom left. And you can't get too hot or too cold. Or you'll freeze or overheat, it seems like. We're making charcoal, it looks like. Yeah, charcoal out of the wood. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Um, I'm not going to eat that piece of meat because we're good on food and water for now. All right, so our next uh, our, our next objective is to level up some more to get arrows so we can make a bow and arrow. And then we can start exploring. A full crafting bench at level 10. Wall torch, floor torch, water skin, oxygen bladders, level 20. We get tier 3. And then tier four, which isn't actually in the beta, it looks like. But you can see everything that is able to be crafted. But tier one right now, we do make thatch buildings. But we just need to level up. So let's do that. I also have a talent point. I didn't notice. We'll do HP again, right? Because we want to just stay alive as long as we can. We're overheating a little bit. Let's go on a little adventure around the lake this way. Hopefully the lack of carnivores in this direction would be nice. Let's grab these. Reed flowers. Harvest for medical resources. Medicinal, that is. Cool. I'm down for that. It gives you, like, information on everything as you look at it. Kind of like you have, like, a HUD or, like, a scanner on your head type thing. What is this? Corn? Oh, Corn. Can be harvested and eaten or planted as a crop. Cool. Do we have weight or anything? We don't, but we have a pretty expansive amount of stats there. Oh, we do have weight. Okay. But it's not even to the degree... Okay, you can't eat it, actually. Grow your own, and then you can eat that. Maybe it just wasn't ripe yet. Or ready to harvest, that is. I wonder how swimming works. I'm going to get real cold is the problem, I think. Oh, we got a fish. Oh, that's easy. 
That's pretty easy. That's going to be the way. That's going to be a, an easy way to get food, really. I'm trying to keep an eye on what's giving us the most XP. It seems like first-time discovery of things is the easiest way. Like, killing that fish got me, like, 160. I'm halfway to level 3 now. Let's go ahead and pickaxe this rock, because I don't think I've found this type of ore before. Yeah, see, I haven't found iron. Oh, no, I think I have then. I think we just got to hit a lot of stuff, man. Okay, let's sneak up on this deer. Let's see how much XP a deer gives us. I think if we stand still, aim real high. Ready? I literally overshot it. I don't know how I overshot it. Oh my, I missed. Let's, you know, let's... Let's just not talk about it. Let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, let's talk this deer. Oh, it ran away. Oh, oh well. Weather event incoming. Minor showers approaching. Just when I think this game has already shown me everything and I'm already so excited to continue to play it, they go ahead and have a random card pop up that says a weather event's coming in. Just wait until the next beta weekend start coming around. It's like every other weekend until, uh, I believe it's November 20th was their release date. This sulfur's giving me a lot of XP. Like a lot of XP. Um, but look at that storm coming in. Minor storm showers. The clouds are literally rolling in. You can see them forming. Everything's getting windier. The wind changed directions. The trees are starting to blow, and here comes the rain. Oh my god. Uh, this game. This is it. This is the this is the survival game. I cannot wait to play more of this. Level three. Alright, let's head home. We need to try to make sure we're collecting as much oxide as possible. I believe I'm going to start getting cold. What was that? That's a freaking bear. Maybe if I jump off this and swim away. Ah! I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, yeah, the storm is going to freeze us, man. We cannot be out in this for too long. We don't have a cover for our campfire, though. We just don't. That's bad. It probably won't stay. Oh, and we have storm exposure. That's not good. Okay, can I use my text tree skills to get patch walls? There we go. We got some thatch. Maybe I can craft some of this real quick and get some cover. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, our campfire went out. Um, crafting. Patch beams. Probably four of them, I'm going to assume. Um, we'll do that. Let's see how a floor would attach to that. Maybe. Let's gather some sticks. We gotta do this quick, man. Give me some sticks. Alright, thatch floor. Okay. We need another thatch floor. Looks like. We're not getting exposure anymore, it doesn't seem like. Okay, the craft... The building's a little... Out of tune right now. That's fine. Let's get some more sticks, quick. Where's that tree I chopped down? There we go. We got some wood. And of course, we didn't put the roof over the campfire. But we can fix that right now. Let me put it on this corner. There we go. I think we're not as exposed anymore. Let's get some walls. There we go. This has to count as shelter, right? Okay. Well, we put ourselves in a box to avoid the storm. <laughs> The very light rain in itself. We also, I just realized we have a timer up there. Storm incoming. Environmental temp. How am I going to break out of here? Okay, I'm just going to have to literally break out of here. Oh my god, it's like collapsing as I break. That is so cool. Okay, the light rain's still happening, but... Let me break my way out real quick. Let's do this. 
I, I'm so excited for this game, man. Nothing has disappointed me so far. Isn't that wild? Survival games are so quick to disappoint, and this is just not at all. Can we make another campfire? We need more stone and sticks. All right, we're just going to keep resetting our storm exposure by going into a box. I think that's our best bet to start. Here we go. Got another campfire. We can put inside. F to interact. Is the rain? The rain's slowing down. Okay, good. We're just going to activate that campfire. Look at that. We're getting going. We really are. Okay. Um, I guess we keep expanding our base a little more. Just so we have somewhere to go back to. And this is going to obviously help us level a little bit. We need to learn doors and doorways. That's door right here. I don't see doorways anywhere. So I wonder if it's just... All together, thatch window, angled wall, wood wall. Okay, yeah, the storm passed. And the, the, the clouds are going away and the calming music is coming in. That bear didn't chase me either. I'm so glad that jumping off a cliff into the ocean got rid of it. Not to say that's realistic, but I mean, I feel like a bear would probably give up after you did something like that, right? Right? Probably. I'm no bear, but... I feel like that's how a bear would function. Let's break down this other wall and try to get a little bit more of a base going. I love how this wall just slowly breaks down. That is so awesome. There we go. Look at that. We're getting a bigger, a little bit, a little bit bigger of a box going now. I love it. Okay. Cool. I'm here for that. I really am. Love it. Okay. Wonderful. Let's get a little bit more built up and uh, try to go explore again, but obviously the other way because there's a bear. We also really want to level up again because I just crafted the wood bow, which would probably be make killing a bear somewhat easier. Oh, look at the grass going away when I place it. So that way it doesn't glitch through the, uh, the foundation. Hell yeah. Oh, my oxygen's really low. Oh god, okay. We gotta go find some of that blue rock. I think I might have some. I do not. I don't have any, actually. I need to craft chests. My guy's starting to get dizzy from lack of oxygen. I'm pretty sure that's what that icon bottom left is. Where do I find oxygen? I know the blue thing's on the ground. There's some right there. Okay, there's some right here, too. There's got to be, like, bigger ore. Oh, God. Oh, God. Round two, huh? No, climb up, please. No. No. Oh. Maybe he'll get stuck. Maybe he'll get stuck. Nope, he's not getting stuck. AI too smart. Maybe if we jump off a cliff again. I think there's a cliff over here. Oh, it can easily outrun me. Oh, we got a bandage. We got a bandage. We got to jump off this. Oh. I just got smoked, and now it's eating me. Now it's eating me. Oh, that was so difficult. I could have turned and tried to kill it, man, but I don't think I'm killing that with spears. I just don't think I am. Maybe I need to, like, quick build a foundation or something. Can we... Go to our bed now. F to respawn. I, it said it wasn't adequate, though. We, we needed to move it into our shelter. I forgot. No bed found. Crap. Respawn at a random location. Oh, we're in like a pod. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Are we going to be close to home? Okay. Just to the south. That's not bad. Can we go back to our stuff? I'm pretty sure that pop-up said our stuff is gone. So we probably have to recraft it. That's not horrible, though. Really didn't take us long to craft what we had. Hello, Mr. Elk. All right, yeah, let's head south. I mean, the oxygen was a problem. We need to... I think those two rocks that the bear killed me near were oxygen, though. So as long as we're, like, familiar with locations of rocks, we should be able to find plenty of oxygen. 
I would assume eventually you just run out of oxygen, like in general on the entire map, unless maybe there's some way of creating it, maybe some type of uh, item or something we craft later. I believe I think I saw in the tech tree an oxygenator. We also got, we lost XP for dying. So that clearly sets us back a little bit, but not too much XP, it looks like. There's our cute little base. All right, let me pick up that, uh, pick up that bed and slap it inside real quick because definitely need to, uh, do that real quick. Oh, our bed's gone. Our bed, like, wash away? What even happened? All right, well, I guess we craft our tools again. We hit a rock. We get our spear back together. We hunt something. We get leather. We make a bed so that we have somewhere to respawn. That's where I'm going to end this episode here, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, there's not going to be much in terms of the unedited episode uh, version this time, but that's just because I wanted to get this video out to you guys before I started the live stream, which, uh, like I said, I'm live streaming right now. So if you want to see where I uh, left off here, I'm going to literally continue from right here on stream. And, uh, of course, they'll be posted as YouTube videos daily or even twice daily, as I mentioned before. So definitely be sure to subscribe. Again, leave a comment down below for a chance to win a copy of Icarus. I'll just message you in the comment section down below in probably like two or three episodes and choose one of you guys. So that way you can get into the beta as well as can get the full game when it releases, which is pretty epic. But you guys are beautiful, wonderful. Again, I appreciate all the support and I cannot wait to continue this series for you guys. Because like I said, this is my number one most anticipated survival game of 2021.